Riverbed IQ is Riverbed SaaS-based unified observability service that enables faster remediation using actionable insights and automated workflows. This video investigates IQ's no-code automations that mimic your organization's troubleshooting workflows and automate the collection of incident details to significantly expedite your troubleshooting processes. Riverbed IQ ships with a library of automated workflows to ensure you get immediate value with minimal effort. Here's an example of an out-of-the-box automation. Automate the process of gathering evidence, building context, and setting priorities to accelerate root cause analysis. Administrators have full flexibility to edit an existing automation, create new, export, import, or delete automations. I'm in the process of creating this automated workflow, but it still needs work. Let me demonstrate how easy it is to edit an automation. Just click on the edit button with pencil icon to connect a new node in the automation. Click the plus button to pull up a list of contextually relevant options. This reduces errors. Since this is an interface automated workflow, I should add the network interface data query. Automation nodes provide the ability to perform specific tasks within the troubleshooting workflow and are accessed in the node panel within the automation editor. These nodes are organized into categories such as triggers, functions, logic, impacts, and data queries. They can also be dragged and dropped in the canvas. Let's edit the node. Here I can adjust the label if needed. You can see the system automatically pulls the context from the previous node. In this case, it's the interface from the trigger. Here we can also collect a variety of metrics. In this case, I want to collect in and out utilization and specify the format as time series data for historical view. We can expand the time frame for how long we collect that data for and even include comparison data so I can compare this data to a previous week to add context. Now I can add a decision branch to ensure the automation executes specific behaviors based on data unique to each incident. In this case, I really want to be able to adapt the priority based on the utilization. However, I don't want to use a static threshold and would prefer to set the priority based on a percentage deviation from previous behavior. As you can see, the query builder can leverage the increase by option, allowing the automation to take advantage of the comparison data we previously collected. I think it will be best to set two paths in this case and possibly break out the visualizations between in and out utilization so the graphs are nice and clean. Now that we have our two outputs, I will set the top path to critical and I can also quickly set the bottom path to a low priority as this is the path the automation will take if we do not see a significant change from last week. Once we have done that, we can now add our visualizations. In this case, I want to show some time series charts. I can add a title and specify the order and choose which metrics should be included, the style, whether I want a legend or not, and where that legend sits in the visualization. Administrators can also add specific notes to the visualizations to include valuable insights to anyone who may be troubleshooting an incident at a later time. I can then repeat the process to add another graph for the out utilization but I can also take advantage of the duplicate functions, as well as perform this in bulk if it makes sense. So after I have created the first two visualizations for the top path, I can duplicate these charts, then attach them to the appropriate output, validate the settings, and we should be all set. Lastly, let's preview our automation. This looks great. The data is synthetic, but I can see what a user would see if there was an actual incident. As you can see, Riverbed IQ Unified Observability provides easy control over your data and automated workflows to simplify root cause analysis.